We've been together through ups and downs and lefts and rights. Jokes! And, uh, hey. It's been a tough week. You're here. An update on the Justin Timberlake DWI arrest. It looks like an anonymous tipster let the police know that JT was drinking heavily and that's what led to eventually his arrest. Let's discuss. I'm Dave Herrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, aka the Florida Lawman here on True Crime MTN. And a lot of people are interested in Justin Timberlake, although there are still a few people in the comment section who are wondering you know, why we care about this. Well, a lot of people care, <laughs> and our channel doesn't always have to be about death and murder and dying. There are still some misdemeanor crimes that have captivated the public's attention, and this is one of them because you have an international star like Justin Timberlake, who was allegedly drinking too heavily at a swank hotel in the Hamptons, and now we're learning that police were called by an anonymous customer at the hotel, someone who saw Justin Timberlake drinking and reported him. And so the police were on guard outside and then they watched how he drove through a stop sign, weaved in and out of lanes, and then decided to pull him over. And that's when Timberlake was asked to get out of the car, which he has to do, and then asked to give a roadside uh, sobriety test, which you don't have to do, but he did, failed it miserably, then was asked to go give the breathalyzer. Multiple times he was asked, and he refused every time he was arrested. His license is suspended. That's what happens when you reject the breathalyzer, but because there is no breathalyzer evidence, that does make the case harder for prosecutors. But the new information we have now of this anonymous tipster that person could become a witness against uh, Timberlake at trial to say, yeah, I saw him drinking uh, a lot because Timberlake, when he was pulled over, told the police officer he had just had one martini. And so that's why his uh, the witness's testimony could be relevant. Also, if it's an anonymous call to the police, that call would be hearsay unless you can get the individual, the witness to testify so it's perhaps that'll be a witness in the case against Timberlake, although I still suspect in the end this will be pled down. Timberlake was not disobedient. He was not rude to police. He did not resist. It's his first time offense there and uh, as a with a DWI. And so I suspect this case will probably head towards some sort of plea that will lead to a fine, some probation, and no jail time. Even if he was convicted of jail time as a first-time offender of DWI, it is very rare that you get incarceration. So a lot of this is just you know interest in a celebrity who allegedly violated the law. It's not necessarily about whether he's going to be wearing an orange jumpsuit. So let's look at the article that came out in the New York Post, which describes the latest information about this case. Someone at the swanky Hamptons Hotel where Justin Timberlake was downing cocktails before his DWI arrest called cops because they were concerned he would get behind the wheel. A local eatery owner says, quote, they said Justin was having a lot of drinks and they told the cop to watch, watch him if he is going to drive, said the well-connected Southampton restaurateur who did not want to be identified to the post on Sunday. The 43-year-old superstar singer ended up hopping in his gray 2025 BMW after the parting at Sag Harbor's American Hotel and was promptly stopped by a young cop who gave him a warning, thinking that would be enough to keep him off the road, a local law enforcement source previously told The Post. And that's pretty new evidence because before it was just uh, reported that you had this young cop 
who pulled him over after he ran through a stop sign and was weaving in and out of traffic. But according to reports, the same cop was the one who stopped him initially, gave him a warning, and then after he ran through the stop sign and was weaving, pulled him over again and then said, that's enough. And for those who don't believe the story about how the young cop didn't know it was Justin Timberlake, yeah, it's very possible. You got a young person uh, who is new to the force, who is there to protect the public against drunk drivers. Is it possible he didn't know who Justin Timberlake is? Yeah, of course. So I, I totally buy that. It looks like JT was treated just like everyone else. A lot of people do get warnings, uh, but once you blow through stop signs, yeah, you're, you're going to go to jail unless you can blow uh, under the limit. But a few minutes later, the same cop spotted Timberlake still in his BMW's driver's seat. Only this time, the singer had allegedly blown through a stop sign and was weaving out of his lane. He reeked of alcohol and had bloodshot eyes, miserably failed several roadside sobriety tests, and was busted, cop said. Now, that's where I have a problem. You've got a source there from the restaurant saying that Justin Timberlake was mistreated in the embarrassing incident. He was definitely treated unfairly, the source said. Everyone drives through that stop sign when no one is there, the source claimed, noting that Timberlake, a 10-time Grammy winner and married dad of two young boys, was a Hamptons regular who has frequented his establishments many times over the years. He said he was always a gentleman. People always recognize him, and they ask him for a picture, and he always says yes. Uh, so, you know what? You don't treat people differently because they're celebrities or they are nice enough to take pictures. By all accounts, Timberlake is a decent guy to his fans. No problem there. But if he was drinking and driving, yes, he should be pulled over, especially after he was given a warning. I don't understand how this one source says he was treated unfairly. You would hope that law enforcement would pull people off the roads who jeopardize other safety on those roads. The Hamptons is a small community. People are driving late at night. And it doesn't matter that other people just blow through stop signs and get away with it. If you have a drunk driver, they need to be taken off the road. And it, I thought this cop actually did him a favor by just giving him a warning. Uh, but enough is enough. Once you start weaving and, and running through stop signs and you're reeking of alcohol, now you have a witness who's saying that he witnessed Justin Timberlake you know, putting down a bunch of drinks. So that means he was lying to the cop. And uh, I think if that person is... A witness at trial it will be important evidence and could lead to a conviction if this goes to trial so that's the latest i'm dave Ehrenberg, ak the florida lawman if you like this video please like subscribe and share with a friend and leave a comment below even if you disagree with me we'll keep following this story i'll see you next time